Hello commanders and welcome in Meliod escaping to the final war. The war of the wars. We have been all waiting for this huge event where you will see the largest army in the history of conflict of nations World War 3 in action and you will see also 100 max level multiple rocket launchers in the biggest land battle the game has ever seen and today we will declare the war on the European coalition in the final war and we will see who will be the the winner so now I am going to launch the attack the assault I'm going to launch it directly on the Belarusian elite railgun we will only wait for some seconds now until the war is declared because there is a, uh, a large load on the servers now and there is a huge armies here so it's going to take some time and finally the war is on and everything is in red and I am already receiving some green uh, notifications there are some things wiped uh, automatically because you know that the multiple rocket launchers they will uh, attack and engage anything on their attack range while we are declaring the war also the anti-air will uh, attack anything on its attack range of course here Belarusia he left his strikers on the borders they are still patrolling there so he will lose them now in this particular second he will lose a lot of aircrafts look at my beautiful anti-air attacking everyone and attacking every single aircraft on the attack range there and they are wiping everything on their way you know that i have mobile some launches and also i have the mobile anti-air so the perfect combination of anti-air without of course forgetting the anti-missiles with an attack range of 125 so here i already uh, take down a strike fighter stack of strike fighters of course you can see clearly if you focus there on the strikers of belarus that they have been losing a lot of units and now to the naval war so here uh belarus have a lot of attack submarines and they are wiping me out here they have a lot but they have the counter attack of the attack submarines i have a composition of um destroyers and um cruisers and also frigates but the counter of the Attack submarines would be the naval recon aircrafts with cruise missiles, max level cruise missiles with conventional warheads and at the same time I will launch a naval assault from my destroyers and also my cruisers. So here uh, that blue notification as I recall before declaring the war I was patrolling it with my naval recon aircraft, it's Serbian destroyers. So these Serbian destroyers they will be vulnerable against my cruise missile because the, you know destroyers they don't have uh, on tier. So let's see the notification. Now there are a lot of notifications in the first seconds of the war. Uh, these attack submarines they are attacking my stack of destroyers. I already lost two destroyers here, only three left. So they put me in the middle and he starts striking from all the sides. Also my um, my naval officer as well is taking some huge hits from the Belarusian attack submarines. You know, attack submarines in the high seas, they are very, very deadly and strong. I'm going here to support with my cruisers and my stacks of cruisers the land battle because here I can see that a lot of uh, Belarusian artilleries, they are on the range. I can reach them from the sea so I can help with some cruisers, of course. I still have a lot of reserve ships there on the back line. I will send them when needed because uh, till this moment I will only send waves and waves. Uh, my frigates they are detecting something. They took down a lot of strike squadrons. You see in the notifications, Belarus now he lost like four or five stacks of uh, strikers, of max level strikers. Because you know, uh, my zone here is a no fly zone. And these are my beautiful mosquitoes. These are my beautiful mosquitoes with my max level elite helicopter wing and now I'm going to target the uh, uh, English stacks. You know here England have two huge stacks. One with uh, tank commander and the other one with infantry officer and all of them they are equipped with uh, multiple rocket launchers, tanks, sands and infantries but their only point of weakness is the helicopters because they don't have mobile on tier so you know here my attack helicopters my max attack helicopters they are going to play a very very important role in this game because they are going to wipe everything from their way first here i need to destroy this elite railgun because railguns they have a very strong 
uh, on the air against both aircrafts and helicopters and later when those ray guns are dead I'm going to send my helicopters to take everything from their way because again they don't their stacks and their armies they don't have a mobile on the air which gives a clear passage for my helicopters to destroy everything from their way this is a huge mistake that the European coalition has done and I quickly saw this um, weakness point I saw it uh, very clearly and I already did these mosquitoes so uh, late in the game because from the beginning when I was building my army I was not really going to build uh, helicopters because you know Chad he already focusing on the Air Force he have a lot of air superiority fighters strikers and helicopters so that wasn't really my task but later when I saw their army they have huge strong armies but the only weakness point is that they don't have on tier and now Serbia is launching a lot of missiles look at these ballistic missiles coming all the way on my stacks of uh, uh, artilleries and infantry there this is um, a Belarusian attack submarine. I'm going to attack it with my naval recon aircraft. Also here in this battle, the NPA, the recons, they are going also to play a very important role in the naval battle. Because you see that practically Belarus have a lot, a lot of attack, uh, uh, attack submarines. It's a number that surpasses like 60 or 70 attack submarines. It's a lot. They are sending an ICBM on my capital. So now I'm going to send the order for my NPA to start doing their work. I have almost 40 naval recon aircrafts and now they are going to launch their aerial assault on the... Uh, so the Serbian destroyer has been wiped by my naval recon aircraft. Now these three attack submarines, I'm going to send them a stack of cruisers and as well, of course, I'm going to send them my NPA. Look how much missiles the European are sending me. ICBMs, ballistic missiles from all the sides, everything is maxed up, everything is max level. Here Ethiopia is going to be wiped out because he have frigates as on the air and you know that frigates they are very very weak against ASW helicopters. So in that case really Romania is going to destroy Ethiopia. Sadly, my ally Ethiopia is going to lose his attack subs there and his stack of frigates. This is the Pacific Front, where I am also having another uh, naval battle against Belarus. And here I already left some destroyers, frigates and cruisers, but here his really attack submarines, they are annoying me so much. They are annoying me so, so much. Because you know, uh, the only, really, the only strong thing against attack uh, attack submarines is the naval recon aircraft. So they are very deadly because, you know, submarines, they don't have anti-air. They can't really uh, have defensive abilities against helicopters or against naval recons. And here, conventional ballistic missile has been intercepted. This is my anti-air is defending me from the Serbian uh, ballistic missiles, but I think my Iron Dome is going to be overwhelmed here because they are sending like more than 30 missiles at single time. This is the United Kingdom, the stack of United Kingdom. He is running away. I think he saw that I am coming for him with my stacks of attack helicopters and he really quickly realized that his weak point is going to be these attack helicopters, so he is going back so quickly. So reunited kingdom, I'm not going to leave you, I'm not going to let you leave the battlefield. The AWACS is destroyed. So here, um, as I said, my Iron Dome of Antier has been overwhelmed. Some missiles have been landed and I already think I lost something here. Later I will check up the notifications and we will see what will happen. You see here my stacks of multiple rocket launchers, they are detecting and they are they are attacking his railguns. I know for fact that railguns they are very strong. They have tremendous firepower and anti-air. So their only weak point is 100 range multiple rocket launchers. So here, if you look closely in this battle, where the European coalition has all the package, they have everything almost, uh, I am trying to find their army weakness points. 
and they are I am attacking their weakness points with my strength points like if they have rail guns the only uh, counter attack for a rail gun is max level multi rocket launches and I am losing and I am using that their anti-air has a weakness point they don't have mobile anti-air so I used attack um, helicopters and of course I am killing them with my attack helicopters they have attack submarines but they don't have frigates so yeah I'm using my naval recon aircraft on there this is an ICBM coming for me this is an ICBM coming for me what happened what happened ouch ouch look at those red notifications one single ICBM he wiped three stacks of multiple rocket launchers that was a very heavy hit to be honest you see that my anti-airs they have been overwhelmed because Serbia in one single strike he launched more than 30 missiles they are max level after all a max level ICBM have a lot of hit points like how much you are going to have anti-air see here I am destroyed in this place I have been like 30 or 40 multiple rocket launches there and I lost them all in this second Damn, this war is very tough. It's very, it's very hard to be honest. This is one of my hardest battles ever. It's very, very hard. Look at those Austrian forces in reserve. They are going to send them again. This is another ICBM have been intercepted. Okay, let's attack this stack with my destroyers, also with my stack of cruisers. Let's work as a unit. Let's work together and take their navies down. This is a stack of four uh, cruisers and one destroyer, and in the north, a stack of five cruisers. You see here, Colombia is preparing his large land army to start uh, to start his invasion from the Iberian Peninsula, and his navy is still waiting in the north for uh, an assault on the United Kingdom. Okay, so this stack of destroyers is going to be dead. It's only one destroyer left. I lost it mathematically that's bad okay, this is another stack of destroyers okay what happened here eliminated in 39 ballistic missile he, this ballistic missile have been intercepted see here it's chaotic it's a large battle and it's chaotic this is the true definition of a border war of a huge and amazing border war full of action uh, like in this war you see everything you see a huge naval battle you see missiles you see a lot of air force and air assaults and more important a large army is composed of rocket launchers uh, elite helicopters uh, main battle tanks special forces sams on tiers and the most beautiful the elite rail guns The borders of Qom have been violated by Belarus. Okay, let's see what he is trying to do here. Okay, uh, already Ethiopia has be, is charging towards his uh, elite rail guns. I'm going to send more and more multiple rocket launchers to the front. I need to destroy those rail guns as soon as possible because I need to charge forward. The eastern front has been totally destroyed. The, he is here making. Uh, a disparate attempt with two national guards I have a lot of forces on the eastern front my helicopters they did a very amazing job they already obli obliterated the United Kingdom stacks and the United Kingdom land armies now it's time to make forward some land units here i have infantry and they have a lot of mobile anti-airs i can send them forward but first i need to clear up their artilleries when their artillery is done i can charge forward but they are making a huge stand and they have a lot of reserve armies because i can see clearly that in the center of turkey there there are a lot of land armies they are still in standby i think that's the Austrian army because they still have a lot of navy have cruisers max level cruisers They are making a wall in the Adriatic Sea I think later after this battle if they see themselves they are being overwhelmed They will send more and more units 
they are here launching an ICBM on my capital Cairo. To be honest, I don't think this ICBM is going to survive. I don't think because my homeland nation is fortified with uh, max level anti-missiles. And also my capital have an anti-missile there, SAMS and mobile on tier. It's well fortified to be honest. I don't think that this ICBM is going to make it through, but we will see. Just imagine if this ICBM falls on my naval recon aircrafts now. They are all on the ground. Just imagine if he still survive and destroy all my naval NPA. I'm going to be dead. I'm going to be dead. What is happening here? Oh no. Oh, okay, good. Good. The nuclear ICBM have been intercepted. Thank you, God. Thank you so much. You saved me. <laughs> Just imagine if that ICBM have fall on my naval recon aircraft. This game is finished for me. Like seriously, if those airplanes is, are going to fall, bye bye this game, bye bye this war, I'm going to close this game and put it to archive. I throw it away. Okay, we still have a chance in this game. Because I really, really knew from the beginning that the European coalition have a lot of huge armies. Uh, you see clearly that my naval units, they are being overwhelmed. I am receiving a lot of damage and I'm receiving a lot of hits from all the sides. So, here, honestly, expertise and um, well thinking, let's say intelligence, is going to make the difference in this game. Because I know that I have special cards on my pocket. I know that I have the good cards that can turn over this um, uh, this battle on my uh, for my favor of course these cards are going to be as i said the naval recon aircrafts with their beautiful cruise missiles and also those attack helicopters but here don't forget that i'm only fighting belarus united kingdom didn't join the war yet Austria didn't join the war yet. United Kingdom knows that Colombia is coming for him from the north. That's why he didn't enter the Mediterranean Sea and he stayed on the Pacific Ocean to defend his homeland nation. So here I'm only uh, having a fight against Romania, Belarus and Serbia. Of course, Romania have attack submarines. Um, Serbia also have destroyers, I guess, and ballistic uh, submarines. He is launching a lot of ballistic missiles from his... Uh, ballistic submarines so yeah this battle is so amazing i really i really enjoy it i really enjoy it because the space of attacks this amazing strategy game is going to be deadly and so beautiful and i really enjoy it when i have such a huge wars so here his uh, attack submarines they are coming after me you see that my admiral uh, have received a lot of hits from his attack subs and he gave me a lot of damage, but yet I still have a lot of surface vessels and they are ready to fight and they are ready to fight for the flag of the Pharaoh's empire and for the African coalition. The Mediterranean Sea is the battlefield of the biggest naval battle in the history of conflict of nations World War III. This battle is even bigger from the last one that I have posted from the previous battle royale. This one is amazing and it has a large, large, large numbers of ships and more important, the land battle. The land battle is chaotic. If this is the first time I see such a huge uh, nuclear attack. Okay, uh, I remember that I did a huge nuclear attack, my first ever video on Conflict of Nations World War III. We launched on Colombia more than like uh, 50 or 40 ballistic missiles. But today, and here Serbia, he has done a very, a very heavy hit on my army, seriously. I didn't expect that they will have a lot of nuclear firepower, but yet they really surprised me and they are doing a very good job. Yet, I'm not, I didn't fall yet, I still have my reserves, I still have my armies, and more important, I still have my allies. They didn't participate yet because I tell them, stay there, you are going to be my second chance in the game, and also you are going to be my plan B. You can clearly see that Chad, he have a large air force he didn't use yet, because we know that the Europeans have a lot of 
uh, anti-air, so we don't want to lose our air force to those anti-air. You can see the Austrian army is waiting in the middle of Turkey, and this war is so far from being finished, it's going to be chaotic, and here the European coalition is superior to me now, we are receiving a lot of damage, we are receiving a lot of hits, and the nuclear attack was devastative to my land forces. So we will see in the next episodes what will happen in this map. Uh, I am going to survive or not. I am going to win this battle or not. We don't know. We will see in the next episode. So guys, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and of course give me your feedback in the comment section and tell me what I should do to win this battle because here I need your help guys I really need your help to give me your ideas and to give me your hints how to win this huge huge battle against the European coalition see you guys bye bye